to start with, it's really important that you make sure that all your bottles and your teats are thoroughly rinsed and so there's no particles of milk left. So what you need to do, using a bottle brush and some hot soapy water, you need to make sure that you give them a real good scrub in the sink. Now there are special teat brushes you can use and you need to get right up inside to ensure that there's no leftover milk deposits. You've rinsed them in cold water just to get rid of any soapy suds that may be on there. There are four ways to sterilise your feeding equipment. There's steam sterilising, which is electrical sterilising and also in the microwave. There's boiling your equipment in the pan and there's also cold water sterilising. First of all, I'm going to show you how to steam sterilise. This is a steam steriliser. What you need to remember is that it works with the water in the bottom, creating the steam to sterilise your equipment. Now this can take six bottles and teats. You need to make sure you pop them upside down. This ensures that everything gets sterilised well. And you must remember to put your teat tongs in as well. And then turn it on. Check the manufacturer's instructions for the, the specific times of sterilisation and also how long they'll stay sterile for. This steam steriliser has just finished now. It took six minutes to sterilise. Be careful when you lift the lid because the contents can be still quite hot and some steam can scald. So I'd wait probably about five minutes until the steam settles down. Now we're going to talk about microwave sterilising. Works on the same principle as we've just demonstrated. In fact, this just goes in the microwave. You pop your right amount of water in the bottom, put your clean bottles in there, pop the lid on, and then put it in the microwave for the required time. And you'll find that on your instructions. Now we're going to talk about cold water sterilising. What we need to do is to fill our tank full of cold water up to the required level. Read the manufacturer's instructions regarding how much chemicals you put in there. You can either use tablets or you can use a specialised liquid. Now the top level suggests I put in one whole tablet and that will just dissolve away. It's really important that you make sure that it's fully dissolved before you put your feeding equipment in the tank. You need to immerse your bottle that I've got here and ensure that there is no air bubbles inside. And don't forget your teat tongs. You need your float to keep everything submersed. Now this will take 30 minutes to sterilise. After you've taken them out, just make sure that you rinse them with cool boiled water. Now we're going to talk about boiling. This is a clean pan that hasn't been used for cooking. You need to three quarters fill it with cold water and immerse all your feeding equipment inside. Make sure there's no bubbles in there at all and keep the lid on and just ensure that it doesn't boil dry. Before we make up our feed, we need to assemble our bottles. I'm just going to show you how to do that. Now this is still quite warm, so be aware. Now, you can touch the outside of the bottles, so that's fine. That's the lid, the locking ring. You must ensure that you use your teat tongs, which are sterile now, to touch your teat. Pop your teat through your locking ring and then pop that in there. And you know then that's nice and sterile. Pop it on there. A bottle ready for your feed.